Hi, it's Carola and today's video is actually a video collab. Hi, my name is Amber Peterson and I'm the founder of Yumi Moon and today we're going to be doing a networking event with the backdrop of a tour of Montmartre. The whole point of the tour today is to balance out his story with a bit of her story. So we're mixing the two because usually, well you guys know because we used to give a Montmartre tour and there's hardly, I don't think there was any woman in that tour that we spoke about. This video is part of my series Fun Things to Do in Paris and if you're interested in booking the tour or taking part in the networking event then please click on to the website link below or wait until the end of the video, there will be more information about that. Montmartre was always kind of a small village on the outskirts of Paris. They used to um, have kind of vineyards, orchards, uh, we know the windmills of course because they had fields here for grain and they would um, mill the grain for breads and things like that and it was its own little area and very cute and special and tiny um, but really really rural no paved roads it was mainly dirt roads muddy streets things like that the little heart with the anarchist uh, a through it uh -huh. these are in honor of the person who we're going to talk about next who is louise michel um, and these are in, in dedication to her because she loved so much. She was an incredible woman who really believed in community, who really believed in equality um, and also fighting the man and uh, the governing body at the time. And so you'll see these all around Paris, to be honest, but a lot around Montmartre because she lived up here on the hill. Yeah. And funnily enough, she's the only woman who has a metro station named after just herself. She was born and raised um, in Montmartre. She believed that if a woman were educated, if girls are educated, the future would be a stronger future um, through equality and having um, just normal human rights. She also started um, one of the biggest women's rights movements here in, in France as well, which is still standing today, it still continues. We're going to talk about one of my favorite uh, female artists of this period and of this area, Suzanne Valadon. Uh, you can see in the small picture over there, uh, she lived here up at the top with her son Maurice. Uh, um, and. They lived in that beautiful open windowed studio apartment created uh, to make art, but also they lived there. Um, and she is special because she started as a model for all of the other male artists around at that time. As you can see here, she's in one of Renoir's paintings. So the reason why I absolutely love Suzanne Valadon is because she decided to change, turn the tables, first of all, by painting woman as it feels to be in a woman's body, but then also by sexualizing men in art. Um, as you can see by these beautiful specimens fishing on the river in the nude. Um, we're going to go down to the corner to talk about La Maison Rose. So, uh, La Maison Rose, no one knows exactly when it was built, um, but the earliest date that they can find is 1905, a photo of it. But it was here before. It always existed, apparently, for all of time. Um, but the first owners as well that we can kind of find on paper are a very important couple within the life of Picasso. So Germaine Pichet was married and her and her husband uh, owned the La Maison Rose um, and it was pink at that time as well. And she was also having an affair with Picasso's friend um, and they were both artists. They both hung around in the same circles and Germaine was having an affair with Casa Hemes. Um, now, it was unfortunate that he was um, dysfunctional. He couldn't get it up. And so they never consummated their relationship, but he was absolutely in love with her. And she was just like, yeah, you're okay, but you know, you can't, you know, 
rise to the occasion for me. So I'm cool. It's fine. We'll just end it here. Um, he's heartbroken. Picasso says, listen, come down to the south of Spain with me. Let's go get some sunshine. Let's go get some fresh air. We'll, you'll get over it. He writes her a letter every single day. He decides then to leave Picasso in the south of Spain and to come back by himself because he can't stay away. And he comes here and she completely rejects him. She's like, listen, buddy, it's not going to happen. So he goes into a deep depression and becomes suicidal. He then decides to throw a party, a going away party. But it's not just leaving Paris, it's leaving life. He gives a speech for all of his friends, and then he takes out a pistol and aims it at Jimin and shoots. It just scrapes, grazes her head. She falls over, unshot, she's fine. And then he turns the pistol on himself and he shoots. He doesn't die instantly. He dies in the hospital later, but they say this is what uh, ignited or started Picasso's blue period, okay? Now, this is absolute codswallop because Picasso didn't start his blue period until much later. While doing our tour, we accidentally ran into one of Amber's collab partners, so she will be with us in the end clip talking about the project that they have in common. So if you enjoyed what you saw here today, please come over to yumimoon.com for more of our events. Otherwise, if you're interested, we're doing an in-depth look at the Women of Montmartre, a collaboration with... Me, uh, Women of Paris Tours and Yumi Moon teaming up to bring you a tour all about the women that shaped this area Montmartre. Thank you. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the YouTube channel where I'm doing other collabs and a lot of things, exploring Paris and fun things to do in Paris. And please comment down below. See you next time. Bye. Uh, because I think it's important. I feel like a celebrity right now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, click, click, click. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, we were filming outside the cafe and I went to go pay for the coffee. He's like, are you a celebrity? And I was like, no, 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 no.